Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Bruda case for the iPad 2. This is one of the most luxurious iPad cases I've had a chance to review. I'd say that it's part iPad 2 case, part work of art. It reminds me of a case that you might see or an item you might see while walking the aisles of a craft show or high-end art gallery. The case really is uh, meant to be a piece of decor in your home or in your office as much as it is a protective case for your iPad 2. So it sells for $175. It's made from a variety of different hardwoods. Right now they're making them out of cherry. So let's check it up close and personal now. So the Bruda case is actually made in my backyard. Uh, the manufacturer contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing it. And it was then that I learned that he lived not only 15 minutes from my home. So pretty cool. Um, he uses Amish craftsmen. I live near kind of the Amish area of Pennsylvania to um, you know, manufacture the pieces that go into making the Bruda case. So it's all made in the USA using quality hardwoods. Again, right now they're being made from cherry. He also has made them from maple in the past. So right away you'll say, uh, it's a very large case and indeed it is it resembles almost the size of, of the MacBook Pro 13 inch and it kind of looks like it as well because it has a little opening here kind of like the MacBook Pro does um, as I said it's made from hardwood so everyone is gonna have like a unique finish to it as you can see you can see the grain of the wood so to open it you kind of pry it open from the little opening there and uh, I'll first open it all the way flat so you can see the inside and kind of get a full bird's eye view now it has four magnets that actually lock it closed so that when you're transporting around, the case will not you know, flap open and your iPad won't come out. It does make it a little bit challenging to open because the magnets are pretty strong, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy to pry it out. Now the interior is lined with all kinds of foam padding. What's really cool is, and it's gonna be hard to see on camera, is the padding is sort of beveled at this end right here. Um, it's raised or sloped. And that ensures that only this portion of the inside lid comes in contact with the iPad 2. And you obviously take note that only this portion comes in contact with the bezel of the iPad. So basically no part of the case touches the screen or the viewable screen on the iPad 2. So let's get my iPad 2 in here and put it in like so. It has two little notches for removing the iPad when you want to use it. But first let me show you that you can easily close the case up with the iPad, move it around. It doesn't move inside. There's no jiggling or falling out of the iPad. You can use it in this position flat, but it does offer two different stand orientations that you can use. So the Bruda case allows for two different stand orientations, both a typing orientation and a video orientation. Take note of the two notches here, one kind of lower and one higher. So the first one is used for the typing position. Slide one end of the iPad into that crevice or that notch, and then lower the case down till it locks into the bottom portion of the case. And now you're in a nice mode for typing and doing other, you know, swiping tasks on the iPad. Now I did find that the lid kind of hanging over is a little bit obtrusive. It kind of, you know, ob obstructs the view a little bit, but not terrible. And then the other angle, of course, is the video angle. And that's done by putting it in the top notch and then the other notch here at the bottom like so and now you're in a much steeper viewing angle good for viewing videos and other content you get a full view of the screen like so so you can see the hinges used for the case there are two of them which again allow you to open it all the way and then close it all the way um, like i said it is uh, really protective while it's inside here your ipad is safe and secure again it does add some bulk and it is a little bit hard to open um, i actually find it harder to close because it's like flush i always want to like you know get my ping fingers caught up inside here and possibly pinch them. So you kind of have to grab it from the edge and let it softly close onto uh, itself. But it's a, certainly an interesting design. Certainly, like I said, a conversation piece that, you know, if you have your iPad 2 out in your home, like in your living room or, you know, in your family room and you leave it there all the time and you don't want to have like, you know, a smart cover in the middle of your family room, uh, this is certainly a stylish piece that will add you know decor to your home and certainly look great while doing it now there is one major issue that i had with the case and that is scratching uh, it does scratch kind of easily um, you can hopefully make out on camera 
already got some nice scratches along the uh, case, but more kind of cause for concern was it actually scratches the surface of uh, the table as well. So if there's any kind of grit or grime on this or on the surface and you place it down and slide it around your table, it's going to not only scratch the case but scratch the surface that you place it on. I ended up with a pretty nice gash on my kitchen table. So um, you know, basically if you're going to be moving your iPad around a lot, I would say this isn't the case for you. It's probably best to be kept in one location and used while it's in that one spot. If you do move it around a lot and you're sliding it around or your kids are using it, just take note of you know making sure that everything around the uh, case and the uh, surface that you're using it on is clean so you don't end up with any scratches. So that has been a quick look at the Bruda case for the iPad 2. Gorgeous design, amazing construction, very functional. Just watch out for the scratching. Available for $175. I'll put a link in the video description where you can, of course, learn more about this case. Should you have any questions about it, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day. Be sure to watch my two latest videos on the iPad 2. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe for more content.